Well, today I was at the flea market and I managed to pick up this um, Walkman here. Now this one is made by uh, Toshiba. And there is the model, the KTS3. Now this one is in yeah, not the best shape, but it's in good shape. Just a little bit dirty. And uh, it also came with this thing. Now what this is, um, because well, they were not able to also integrate a, uh, a radio to this unit, Toshiba or other companies did the same thing, decided, hey, we're just going to take something that looks like a cassette and put some pins on the bottom, which line up with these pins. Now these transmit power and uh, sound, and uh, yeah, this is uh, the tuner. You have uh, a small wheel here that adjusts your frequency, and a small switch on here for mono and stereo, and we have a hole in the top that allows you to tune the thing while it's uh, while you're using it, so you don't have to open it the whole time. So while the tune and everything works great, the thing runs on six volts. Just do it like that. You have got two headphone jacks on the top, and you just select what function you're using. If you're using the radio or the tape, the tape you're using, and we also have a battery indicator. So two people can listen at the same time. What else do we have? The simple play, forward, reverse, eject, and mute button, which allows you to talk to one another while still wearing your headphones. We have a volume slider, just one. And now there's one thing about this. First of all, the tape doesn't play back. It just pulls 500 milliamps, and that's it. Then, second of all, yeah, you've probably guessed it. Um, somebody has been clumsy with this thing and let uh, the batteries inside, which of course has caused the uh, contacts in it to completely deteriorate and be dissolved by the acid. In fact, they were dissolved so much that uh, that piece there corroded completely and fell out. That's what's left from it. So what I am thinking about doing is, hey, why don't we just put a lithium ion battery into this thing, or two. Just gonna use one of those uh, USB chargers. They, those output 5 volts. I mean this thing it does need uh, 6 volts. I could just pretty much take the power from the batteries and uh, put a small booster in there to pump that up to around 6 volts. And yeah, then we're gonna have a look inside this unit and see why the tape doesn't play. Now my assumption is it's definitely gonna have a belt in it, so that belt is definitely gonna be broken or needs to be replaced or has melted, yeah, and we also have a missing screw. Now that screw, I've actually found that in here, it just fell into the unit when I opened it up, so yeah. Let's have a look inside this thing and see what's wrong. Alright, and we are in, and uh, this thing is very, very service friendly, I mean this is the first uh, actual Walkman that I've disassembled where you actually remove some screws and the back panel pops off so you get access to all the others, to the stuff inside. Now, the reason why the tape won't play is uh, the belt has melted. It just turned into a gooey liquid, which is quite nasty. Now, fixing that is no problem, it's just gonna be very messy. But I'm also gonna have a look at uh, everything that's inside here just to make sure that everything's fine. And yeah, it doesn't seem like the acid has penetrated through that board. So yeah, it's possible to put some new contacts in or make some new ones. I'm gonna go with a lithium ion battery and clean all this stuff in here up. So just gonna take this shielding paper here off and uh, let's have a uh, look at more stuff in here. The last Walkman that I had, uh, that had some SMD capacitors and those leaked and destroyed the entire board. This one, I'm pretty sure it won't have any SMD stuff in it since it's too old for that. So well, it's now a couple of days later and I got the new belt. All I've got to do now is simply put it on there. Of course, I do have, uh, I do have cleaned the whole unit up again. So, I'm just gonna put the new belt in and everything is fine. So. There we are, new belt is installed, all we've got to do now is press play and select tape. And what do you know? 
works. Yay. So well, I've got a tape in there, just a crappy one that somebody recorded and now I found actually an old tape deck that I got from a dumpster and well, there we go. As you can probably hear, that thing is working just fine. So all I've got to do now is reassemble the whole unit and uh, make another video about how I'm going to fix those contacts in here since, well, I'm not going to actually use the AA batteries on it. I'm just going to go for uh, one or two or four lithium ion batteries and a small um, voltage or DC to DC booster. Oh yeah, by the way, I remember there was some sort of shielding on top of here. Uh, that there is the glue residue that's still left from it and there were some weird animals actually living in that luckily they were already already all dead but I mean yeah still odd so well uh, there we go small project completed and just by adding this belt this unit has now 10 times the value well not really more like five times the value because of the, the completely defective battery compartment but hey with the lithium ion batteries and a uh, USB port on the bottom that's gonna be awesome and this is what the tuner module looks like I've just taken the lid off and yeah just a simple FM tuner inside it nothing too complex and uh, yeah I personally find it absolutely brilliant how they managed to do this. To, to, well, since they couldn't fit this anymore into the uh, uh, Walkman itself, well, just use a tape. Our tuner uh, should maybe fit in that. Why not? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. So, well, thank you for watching and goodbye.